in different ways uh, than you might expect normally. Top lane, they see him oh chasing boy, him. Yeah. Yeah, they are just going right after Cuckoo. They want to get themselves the first blood, and uh, it's looking like they should be able to find it. Spirit. Just trying to keep... Yeah, it's super Cookie nice. Oh, we have the, the Snapfire Kisses, so it looks like they're going to try to do enough damage, but with Sweden Strong here, it's not going to end up working. Thompson now in trouble. is taking a lot of damage here from the tower. Does have eight of these wand charges. forced to pop them, and he's just barely going to make it out with 40-something hit points. Meanwhile, well, top lane, big there. chase. Top lane, oh, and V2 and 2 running for his life. Cuckoo is going to have that decay up in about two seconds. And should be able to go and finish off V2. Try for Jaro. I mean, they have to be so careful, though. There's the call down. Okay, Try to put sure. out as much damage. They're holding on to the fissure just in case. There it is. There is no black hole for you, my friend. As they'll put some more damage over onto Sweden Strong and get themselves yet the another. Though, so, not going to see any big place just yet. Yeah, there we go. Just have the... Hold Embrace, the Fissure, over onto Sweden Stung, we'll slow down, but... It's kind uh, of constrained here by the fact that they haven't taken any Tier 1 tower yet. That's interesting to know. You can see that Sweden Strong making his way over. They use the Snapfire Kisses, though. We're onto the Tusk, the Snowball. We'll connect eventually with Anna. But uh, might have bit off a little bit more than he can chew. So a uh, ember in his sights. Does have to be careful though. Sweden Strong is here. He's going to be able to throw out the shards, but still feel a little bit reluctant to go in because Zephyr's standing nearby, and now he has the Winter's Curse. So they need to be extremely careful how they start positioning. But so does Zephyr on the same side because uh, Solo does spot him over on here. White Mon standing nearby. Does not have the six just yet. Does have the Fisher. They'll go in, though, using the Winter's Curse. White Mon going to try to help escort Zephyr out. The Snowball, though, coming into play. Plus the Slight. It's enough to get the kill. Cuckoo, though, coming forward. They should be able to get the kill on Sweden Strong. As they drop that kick off over onto Anna. And he is going to get spotted by no one. But I'm not sure if they're quite aware. Yeah, they're not aware at all because they follow up with the Snapfire Kisses. But Solo, having that global capability, is going to be able to come in for the counter gig. And they're just going to end up losing Sweden Strong. They do have yet. the black hole. They get a little bit too close here. In fact, there are a couple heroes standing very close. They've got the Snowball. They'll roll over onto Anna. The Walrus punch up into the air. They turn around with the Flat Cannon. They'll be able to get a kill before they eventually end up losing the Gyrocopter. Oh, really? So they still have the black hole. They have 45 seconds until they have Dawnbreaker ulti. Oh no, Enigma. Good gust, well, silence, but be able to just get the launch off over onto V2. They have so many ways of closing this gap right now. In fact, in comes Solo, but he's just a little bit too late now, as he's gonna have to pull himself. They've been playing so defensively, they want to get more offensive attacks. Sweet and strong. Oh, again, he is the frontliner at this time. White Mon waiting patiently over onto the side. They split up very nicely, though, because they don't want to end up falling. As now White Mon fighting with Sweet and Strong, he's still going to be able to get that kill, despite the fact he's doing so low. Cookie forward over onto Lace. He is not looking healthy. He's not going to be able to get this black hole off at all. Here, trying to fight. It's three over in the corner. Again, they don't have a blink dagger yet for the Enigma, so this makes it a bit more difficult for them to get that perfect positioning. Although no one getting a little bit too far ahead here. Having to be a bit careful. We'll go for the slides. Zephyr sitting very low. Walrus Punch comes through. They'll get the kill now. Follow up with that slow, with the call down. Cuckoo continuing to just throw out the decay. Does have the Flesh Golem available if he wants to try to pop it. Thompson with those kisses going to force them away. Won't be able to relax in that little patch of grass. Those seeds, is they're looking. Ba-doo! <laughs> Uh-oh. Cuckoo's like, oh, guys, please follow up. Please help me. Cookie going forward. That's going to end up using that cold embrace. Keep him alive a bit longer. Sweet and strong. Follow up with the curse. Maybe not necessary there, but they still managed to get the kill. Cuckoo not looking so healthy, though, as he is going to die. The buyback now coming out from Sweet and strong. They join in. They've already used that solar guardian now. No one leading the charge. Seeing Thompson. They don't have the cookie available just yet, so he's going to finally end up falling here. Jaira has a BKB. He's ready to fight. White Mon needing to be a bit careful here. Throwing out the Fissure does have the Echo. We'll go for it. And that's a double kill for the patient White Mon. Every time I go and I look at these these supports plus tops, and I guess Cuckoo is there too. Yeah, this launch Cuckoo over at Solo. This poor Dawnbreaker is incredibly low. Another smoke getting used. They want to use this just big power spike. Slace sits very far back. They don't the have Undying ulti anymore. Like that time, now it's Navi trying to steal Roche here. This is very cheeky. This is pretty crazy. White Mon throwing out the Fissure will land over onto no one. But there it is. There's the Roche. It's going to be VT who picks it up. They've got the Silence over onto Kuka, the BKB. But again, Winter's Curse coming into play. Going to slow down VT. But now this means that if they go for a black hole like this, they have nothing over here to really stop in case. But they follow up with those kisses, putting the damage down. 
a nice long range fissure coming out cuckoo barely staying alive here is he gonna be able to make it out Ooh, 17 hit points wow it was really low that was some really nice positioning by navi and the decision and left that area they were being zoned back of course and with the smoked enigma they had to expect him oh okay all right well out over here yeah mm, they're looking for this opening Get the launch off, follow up with the silence, so sweet and strong. Don't have it in fact. Anna's gonna be the first one who pops the smoke and he goes forward, sees himself solo. The tune though, getting into position, throwing out a couple of frost arrows. You have to be careful. Lace waiting super patiently, hoping that they group up. It's gonna be called down over onto B tune. He's gonna be able to walk away. They will launch a creep, but there's the BKB used on the drow. They're not happy at this positioning coming out now. They don't want to have to deal with the solo. Not going to be lucky, though, that Fissure coming through, canceling out the TP. You can be Black Hole. It's such a huge threat right now. Oh, what a, what a hit here with that one spit. Following up, though, BKBs are going to get used. Thompson trying to fight. Sweet and Strong is going to get saved in the nick of time with a little bit of that heal. Not sure it's going to be quite enough as he does manage to die, but take someone out along the way. There's going to be the buyback now from Sweet and Strong going in with the Solar Guardian. He's trying to keep alive, trying to move people around the blink Wyvern. forward. Wyvern is the key hero. Oh, we got to see Solo dying here. There's the launch with that Orchid. They have so much damage to play this defensive but now with an aegis picked up too i don't know if navi like what do they what options do they have as all right all right there there's an option right there as we talked about no one trying to get in there trying to get the kill on ever does manage to take out both of the supports very very quickly bkb getting Building up to on. be a fight here they're coming in amber going coming in, in with the remnant looking for tops and tops and jumping away Get the stun up over onto no one. He's still holding on to that BKB. So I don't know. That's a lot of damage. He's gonna go pop his own BKB. As they'll get the toss over here solo. Gonna rejoin over with no one. Those snap fire kisses raining hellfire down. But they've Radiance bottom tower. Sweet and strong gonna reveal himself. Again. Follow up with the remnant. A little bit far of a dive here for no one. Pops the BKB on it over onto the side. They finally get that black hole that they're looking for, and they do so much damage. They'll be able to get that kill. Zephyr falling over the back lines. Cuckoo, the next one to go down. A beautiful strike coming out from the side. Oh, yes. in the one remnant. No black hole just yet. 20 seconds. BKB, no one going in. Following up with the Warrus Punch. will be able to hold B2 off to the side, though, using the Winter's Curse. It's going to be Cuckoo who ends up picking up that Aegis of the Immortal. So finally landing in. They'll get the kill over onto Zephyr. Cuckoo, that's going to be the Aegis popping. Lace looking for this opening. He's going to black hole in about four seconds. But uh, Sin's going to be able to just zip away using that Wind Waker. They'll get the kill on Solo. And it's rare that you'll see your Ember Spirit. <laughs> Look, yeah, he's just hanging out by White Mon. He's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure someone's here. Just uh, follow up though, over on to no one, has to be a little bit careful, but the snowball coming in hot. They're going to follow him using that Wind Raker. There it is. There's a black hole over onto Thompson, over onto Zephyr. It's beautiful as they clean up. That's a double kill now. White Mom buying back, wants to be a part here, trying to make sure that they don't get any more out of the space, but it's going to be gosh darn impossible. In the corner, they see you. Fly back from the Winter Wyvern. Can they get anything else here? Looks like they're going to put the damage over onto Sweden Strongest. Anna is back up and running, but over here, V2 just shreds through that tombstone. And now Zephyr, you cannot hide from no one. He is everywhere all at once. A BKB coming out now from V2. They get, they're going for the black hole, and they get the plenty of damage coming off. There it is. There's the GG call. To get a lot Not of information and was a good distraction in all actuality. Just absolutely crushing this game. 10 2 and 12.